Hello, I am Eduardo Arcondo here from FuelTech USA and today we are going to be installing our brand new plug and play harnesses for the Sea Dew jet skis. For the past few months, FuelTech has spent countless hours at the shop and at the lake in order to bring you a product that is going to be extremely easy and fast to do the installation as simple as, as a plug and play system for the, your jet ski and it will allow you to run a standalone ECU to do any kind of racing and, and any kind of application that you want. When you order a sea do plug and play harness, what you're gonna receive, it's a harness that is gonna make extremely simple and very fast connection between a fuel tech ECU to your jet ski. On one side of the harness, it's actually the ECU connectors for an FT550 and on the other side you're gonna have the two main connectors that is gonna replace the stock ECU and later on you have extra connectors for more inputs and extra outputs in order to receive information for any extra sensor that you prefer to add or to control any kind of solenoid or any kind of actuator that you prefer to add to your specific application. With the extra connectors, you're gonna have eight more outputs in order to manipulate, for example, nitrous, if you want to have a boost controller solenoid or any other actuator that you prefer. And on the input side, you are gonna have four more inputs plus a CAN communications. With those four analog inputs, you're gonna be able to connect any kind of pressure sensor, like for example, water, oil, or even tunnel pressure from the SIDU. And on the inputs, you're gonna have also a CAN communication in order to add any other extra fuel tech product, like for example, a wideband sensor that can allow you to do a fine tune or even go more extreme for turbo applications or nitrous, for example. And for example, add an EGT4 that's gonna give you the ability to see individual cylinder temperatures and it's gonna allow you to do a more fine tune. Also on the harness itself, it's included the fuel pump really that this will allow you to run any kind of aftermarket fuel pump that normally will damage if it runs directly to the ECU. On our website, you have two different harness to choose for the SIDUS. We have a four feet and a eight feet long. The main difference between these two is gonna be that the four feet long is gonna be designed to work on an RXP one and the eight feet long version is gonna be for the RXT and the GTX model. Once you choose it, which of the two versions you're gonna need, it's very simple to do the installations, almost just unplug the stock ECU, plug the connectors here, plug the field tech ECU on the other side, and almost go running. But first, before you do that, there is a small process that you need to do. Since you're gonna receive a brand new ECU, that has no map on it. But don't worry, the map is already on the FT Manager software. In order to be able to tune the ECU, you're gonna need our FT Manager software. It is available on our website in support software, and that way you're gonna have always the latest version. The software itself will tell you if a new version is actually available. Before you plug the harness to your CDU, you will need to plug the ECU to the USB cable, the other side to your laptop, and that will be enough to turn on the ECU already and the ECU will tell you that it has no map on it. Once you plug it in, you're gonna see that the software already recognized the ECU. And the first thing that you need to do is actually go to tools, ECU updater, and click on update the ECU to be sure that you're gonna have the latest version of the software. During this process, don't unplug the USB cable, but don't worry, if for any reason you unplug it from some mistake, you can restart the process again. The update process can take about five minutes, so just be patient. And once it's everything done, you're gonna be able to get into the base map that we have already on the software and have the jet ski started for the first time. After it's done, you can click just OK. You can click a no to see the backup directory. Just close this window 
And now you can go back to home and click on open. Once you click on open, you see that the very first folder, it says sample start maps, double click there and you can scroll down in one of the options, you can see that says template jet ski and the very first one, one of the first ones says template jet ski SIDU 300 IDR 2022. In this case, this is the base map for the jet skis from 2010 up to 2023. You can double click on that and that will open the map, the, bare, the base map that you are gonna use. And with that, you have already your base map in order to run your SIDU jet ski for the very first time. Before do that, just click on right ECU to send the map to the ECU. Just choose one of the three map locations that we have. Normally we'll be the first one in this case. Click OK and that will write the map to the ECU in order to have it ready to have fun. Once the update process is done and you have written the map into the ECU, we can start the process now to do the installation on the jet ski. In this case, we are doing the installation on a 2022 RXP. That the main difference with the GTX, for example, is actually that the hole is longer and the harness needs to be longer because it needs to go all the way to the front and then come back to put the fuel tech ECU into the dash that is a part that normally we'll live with it. And on the RXP, you can install the fuel tech ECU itself on the glow box here replacing the stock dash or just in the front. So to start the process, you will need to remove the seat. In this case, the stock ECU is located under this little storage area. So we are gonna need to access from behind. The first recommendation, unplug the battery, unplug the two connectors from it. It's just two 10 millimeter bolts. Once the battery is off, you can unplug the stock ECU. And it's fairly simple once you understand how the connector is. It has a small lock and you need to swing the big security connection that it has. Once you have the two connectors with you, there is a black one and a gray one, the same colors that you will have it on our plug and play harness. First, you need to plug the gray one, it goes with the gray OEM connector. And then you can choose, and then you can plug the black one that goes on the other connector of our plug and play harness. Just put it in, flip the lock, and it's already in. Then on the other extension, you plug the ECU itself, the field tech, and it's almost ready to run. Obviously in your case, you need to choose if you're gonna have it on the small storage, replacing the stock dash or in front of the jet ski. One thing that is not included with the harness is actually the igniter or the ignition module that you need to buy it. It's a Bosch module that is available on several parts stores or on the web. Now we can reconnect the battery. You can put the safety key, press the start button and everything is on already. But don't start it yet. We need to do one more process. When you touch on the RPM bar in the top, you're gonna access the main menu. You can go to sensors and calibration, that is this small pedal here, and the first option is TPS pedal calibration. Click there, and then you are gonna have your TPS or your sensor that's gonna tell the ECU when you are zero and 100% of throttle opening. This is a Thing that it will be better to do it before starting. So without touching the accelerator, just click on calibrate, then go 100%, click on calibrate, and then just click OK. And the ECU is performing on this moment, the throttle body calibration for your specific module. It says successfully calibrated, it's OK. You can go out, go back to the main menu, and now we are ready to fire up. And it's running. We hope that this video answered all your questions about how to make this plug and play installation on the SeaDoo jet ski. 
If you have any questions about this installation process or the tuning process that you should follow, just call our tech support and they will be glad to answer all your questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you guys next time. And now, it's time to have fun.